Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is all of my ministry was important. This is a continuation of our daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit. Many people only look at the cross at the fulfillment of the ministry of Jesus Christ. But our Lord and Savior has done so much more. It is not only the cross. It is all what he has done in the ministry. How he was acting, talking, and walking through the, through the villages, and how he taught and preached to the people. His commandments and everything, all his parables, everything that he put forth, we should consider not only what he has done on the cross, and not only that he was buried and raised on the third day, the resurrection. What about the 40 days afterwards? I never see anybody talking about that. This, many people say, oh, this was only there to reinforce that he was resurrected. No. This 40 days after his resurrection shows a new level, shows to the new level to which we must arise, to which we must awake. It is not only to follow the commandments and not only to see the cross, but also to see what he has done afterwards, then to call for us, to empower the people and to send them forth into the nations so that the gospel of the kingdom could be preached everywhere. But many people are only say everything is done in the cross. And they even say that what Paul or Peter said in their letters to the churches or to the assemblies, to the first Christians, is more important than what Jesus has said. Because there are some contradictions. We should not forget about this. But we must understand that these letters that Paul and Peter sent are reactions on some situations within the newly formed Christians, mostly to correct themselves or because issues have arisen that must be solved. So we should not take them as, as a ministry of Jesus Christ's statement, but we must take them as a reaction onto a certain situation that came up. For example, the situation that the Jews in Jerusalem said everybody has to be circumcised, everybody has to be like Jews. That was a situation arising. And out of this, Paul made a lot of letters and a lot of saying. And many of this, of his sayings that he, or letters that he published and sent to the people, to Jerusalem and also to the assemblies, are mistaken now. And out of them, they made a doctrine that the law and everything has passed and all this, what is not true. Many man-made doctrines were created because people are only picking one part of the ministry of Jesus Christ instead to look at it a whole. If you ask today somebody in the church, what has Jesus said about this and this topic? I tell you, they cannot answer you. They can't. They only say, oh, we know we are saved because Jesus was at the cross. He died for our sins. He's he spilled the blood and now we are saved. But if they do not know what Jesus has done in the ministry, what he has taught and what he has commanded, how then can you fulfill if you are saved by grace, but then you, you are an empty shell because you do not know what to do. And if you do not understand the meaning of the 40 days after his resurrection, then how can you ever climb up the ladder and and reach a new level in understanding that is required for the end time. So we have to see it and look at the whole ministry. Read what Jesus has said. And this must be first. It must be always the first choice that we have. What has Jesus said? What would Jesus do in such and such matter? Not what has Paul said, not what has Peter said, not what is written in any of the epistles, not what is written anywhere. But what has Jesus said and what would Jesus do? 
act as Jesus did, talk as Jesus did, and walk as Jesus did. So have a look, what has Jesus preached? He has not preached the gospel of grace, he has preached the gospel of the kingdom. But people make a lot of doctrines and say, oh, this is a time of grace and what, and they do not even understand the meaning, what happened afterwards, after the resurrection. How important it was that Jesus appeared here and there in a new, in a newly formed body, in a spiritual body. Because this is a very important time to reach a new level of understanding, a spiritual rapture, so to speak, so that the people can walk on a new level with a new understanding for the end times. Very, very important. But no churches are preaching about that. They only teach about the cross, the cross, the cross, the cross. They even made the cross an idol. Has God not commanded us not to put anything related to heaven, the earth, or under the earth as a symbol? Why then do we have all everywhere the crosses and the figure of Jesus Christ? People, 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 you have to read your Bible. See what is the whole ministry of Jesus Christ. And out of this understanding, you must then walk your own path. As Jesus said, take your cross and follow me. Follow him means copy him. Will you copy only the cross? Do you want to be nailed to the cross? No, you want to copy what Jesus preached and did. How he acted to the needy, to the poor, the suffering. How he healed the sick. How he raised the dead. This is what you should copy. How he acted against sinners. And, for example, the, the lady that was brought to him caught in the act of adultery. How he acted there. Will you do the same if you catch your wife or your girlfriend like that? What would you do? You see, you can learn all how to act in love and unity from our Lord and Savior, from his ministry. Not only go back to the cross, start at the beginning and learn everything. See the cross as your salvation and then understand also what happened after the resurrection and what happened when he was in the grave, that he got the key for, from hell that he was standing against the enemy, against the enemy flood. And then afterwards he received a new body. And then what he do then? He empowered the people to send them out into the nations. So you have to understand the whole ministry, not only part of it. And that is also the reason why we have so much confusion, why we have so much fighting between Christian and Christian, because everybody is looking only at the part. And he want to make this part the whole. But this is not true. The whole ministry must be seen, everything. And if Jesus would be here right now, he would tell you the same. Look what I have done for you in the whole ministry. From day one to the day of his ascension. And not only single out the cross and say, I'm safe to this one and now nothing can happen to me anymore. Then you have not understood the ministry of Jesus Christ. It's not about once saved, always saved, or not once saved, always saved. It's about that we should copy and act as Jesus did it. He showed us a great example, and we have to follow it. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. Please have a look at our new website. I will put a link in the first pin comment. And if you're guided to help us and to sow into the ministry, or to support one of our projects, then please Follow the link in our new website and you can help us and we appreciate every donation, no matter how small it is. Thank you so much and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.